Hello everyone, very welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica. Today I am very excited because I'm going to try out a few things from Nabla. This is not like a full face, but I have a contour. I have bronzer, blush, highlighter, eyeshadow palette, and lipstick. I have been wanting to try Nabla for such a long time, especially the like the blushes and highlighter and bronzers and all that. I know Lisa Lobotomi is raving about these. So you put them in like a C palette or a magnetic palette. And I really have been eyeing this for quite a while. And now when it was Black Friday, Beauty Bay had a really nice deal. So I don't know if it was like 50% off or something, maybe 40, I don't know. But I bought them and now I'm going to use them. This is a first impression. I'm gonna show you what I got. So I got this one. This is a C palette. No, this is not a C palette, obviously. <laughs> this is from Nabla as well. But this magnetic palette uh, is from Nabla. And this is, uh, I bought this from Beauty Bay as well. This is 15 US dollars. And then I bought, let me see, I bought a contour shade, this one. So this is the shade and glow, these three. And this is the Blossom Blush. So this contour shade is Gotham. And then I bought a bronzer, looks like this. It has kind of a little bit of sheen to it. And this is Saint Tropez. And then I bought a highlighter, a baby glow, and this one is Nectarine, this blush. And yeah, I'm super excited to try these. Uh, they look so, so pretty with the print. I hope you can see the print. So beautiful. And then I bought an eyeshadow palette. Look at this cutie. This is the <laughs> cutie palette uh, in coral. And it's so cute. It looks like this. You have six shades in here. You have a mirror and this retails for, let me see, uh, 27 US dollars. This was also on sale. So, but look at that. Look, look at that pretty pink and this beautiful, beautiful peachy shimmer. I need to use this today. And yeah, this is a nice color story, guys. And then I bought a liquid lipstick. This is the Dreamy Matte Liquid Lipstick. This packaging is so cute. And then you just flip it up like this. And then you have the lipstick in this small little box with all these stars. Super pretty. And here is the liquid lipstick. It just has this frosted bottle, super beautiful. And this is 18 US dollars. And this is in the shade Vanilla Queen. So I'm going to zoom you in guys and we can start. So let's start guys, let's start with the face products. So I'm going to take this Gotham, this contour shade, just to see how it looks. Maybe I need this mirror. And I don't know how pigmented it is, but I'm just gonna try. Yeah, I think this is a great color for me. As you can see, if you are like have a lighter skin tone or if you are pale this will probably be a very nice contour shade I think this looks really nice I mean it's not the darkest contour ever but it works for me anyway. Now I'm going in with this Saint Tropez color. So this is the bronzer. Super excited about this one actually, because I love bronzers, as you know if you have been here. And I don't know how pigmented it is, so I'm just gonna be very, <laughs> very careful here. But yeah, I think this works nice. I like this shade. This looks really, really pretty. It looks really fresh. I think, does it have any like sheen to it? Maybe it has. You can see it looks very natural. And I'm all about that when it comes to bronzers, like just a natural, glowy, beautiful skin. I really like this. 
and I always take bronzer down here on my neck because my neck is always pale <laughs> and my face is always like red when I don't have any foundation but my neck is always always like white okay guys what do we think about this I love this this looks so so pretty I can't tell if it has a sheen but if I just swatch this maybe we can tell yeah it has a little bit of this sheen to it but you can see this is the bronzer maybe i can just swatch the gotham the contour shade you can see it's a little bit pale but it is very cool tone and this is the bronzer super beautiful now we're going in with blush and this was the nectarine nectarine i love these kinds of shades when it comes to blush same here i don't know if this is how pigmented this is but i'm just gonna start out here oh this is pretty this is my kind of blush like this pinky corally shade super beautiful can definitely build it up I just take a very small amount because I don't know exactly how pigmented it is but I can see you can build it up so that's perfect and I love blush so I think it looks fresh on the skin just to have a little blush this is really really pretty <clears throat> I'm going to swatch this blush for you guys also so there you have a blush this nectarine color now we're going in with a highlighter this let me see here baby glow this one maybe I should swatch this first because just to see what we're yeah I hope you can see it has like a peachy undertone to it like really really pretty very warm let's see here guys pretty pretty shade i think i'm going to try to spray it as well just to get it even more intense just to see how how it looks when it's a little bit wet yeah definitely gets more intense i hope you can see i don't know if you can see uh but i can definitely see and this is look this looks so pretty on my skin it looks really nice to my skin tone so i'm pretty happy with this i'm going to do the eyes now and i have no idea what i'm going to do i know i need to no <laughs> use this shade but i want to start off with this one i think i'm going to cut the crease as well today it feels like it picks up yeah it picks up a lot super beautiful it's very pigmented I hope I don't have anything else on this brush. This is pretty, guys. I just have single eyeshadows from Nabla, and the shadows I have is so great. Uh, one of my favorite single eyeshadows is from Nabla. Uh, I know if you have been here on my channel, you may know which one, and it's the New Heaven the light blue color and that is amazing that is an amazing shadow one of my favorite single shadows so and i feel this blends like a dream guys so pigmented and gosh almost like a neon i'm gonna cut the crease so i'm not worried about looking a little bit crazy right now but I'm going to run this pink underneath as well. Something like this. Now, what are we going to do? Hmm. Well, I'm going to take this red shape, this one. This is kind of a satin, or is it a matte with just a little sheen, maybe? I'm just going to deepen up right here. 
here like in the outer part and in my crease as well this is such a pretty colors um i think i want to use this anyway as well just to deepen up the very outer part just to see how this is this is pigmented oh my god <laughs> the dark so I'm just taking this in my very outer part because I don't want to lose that pink and I'm going in with more of that red shape as well after this in top of this shadow I'm taking that red these shadows perform beautiful I want to use every shade in this one because this is a first impression. So I have three shimmers here. I have a really bright pink. I have this beautiful, <laughs> sorry my phone, uh, this beautiful uh, peachy shade. And this is more like a gold bronze, uh, this one. Well guys, should I maybe take the... I want this on my lid, so I'm going to start with that one. I'm going to spray my brush. No, I'm going to cut the crease. <laughs> I'm going to cut the crease first and I'll be right back. So now I'm back. I have cut the crease. Now I'm going in with this manda mandarin. <laughs> this color. Look at this. This is so pretty, guys. Uh, I'm going to spray my brush as well and see if it picks up. It has a little bit hard time to pick up on the brush, but we'll see maybe i have to go on with my fingers later on see yeah it is a little bit crumbly formal this one so maybe i need to yeah it's a real hard time to pick it up but i'm just gonna have it in my inner part i think and it is a little bit flaky here. Maybe I should have used a glitter glue with this one. I can see that now. I think it would be more, more intense and it will stick to the glitter glue. Definitely. I can, <laughs> I can say right now, I recommend you to do that with this shadow. And it's quite stiff in the pan as well because it feels really, I don't know if you can see, oh my god, I'm sorry, it's quite like, oh, <laughs> stiff here, where I have dipped into this shadow, yeah, oh, I would, would have a glitter glue with this, this was stupid of me, but I could have, maybe I could have known this, this is a special formula. I'm gonna take my finger now just to, as you can see, get more intensity in this one. I think it's quite sheer as well, as you can see, almost like a topper. So maybe this is just supposed to be like more like a topper shade. Maybe. Uh, but I want to go in with this beautiful pink now. I don't think I need a glitter glue with this one. Of course, you can use glitter glue with all the shimmers, but this feels, this is another formula. I can see that. And it feels like if I just flip the brush, it feels like it's a duochrome. It feels like it is a little bit peach in this one. A very pretty color now I took my Mac brush I think this one was easier to pick up because if you can see in the pan it's quite soft but when you like dip your brush in you get a lot and I think you can easily get fallout with this one um, 
but it has definitely like a duochrome feeling to it with this pink to like coral peach. I really need to try these with the glitter glue next, next time because I really want, as I said, this mandarin color to be more intense than it actually is right now. But in the outer part, I'm going to take the coral amber, <laughs> this one. <laughs> so I'm just going to spray my brush as well. This it feels like this one and the pink one is in the same formula or has the same formula. So I'm just going to put this here. Ooh, I like this color. Can you see? It's like, like a gold. Uh, ooh, I have a lot here. I don't know if you can see, but here like, <laughs> do it like this. <laughs> Um, kind of a bronzy gold, but almost like, oh, I like that. Um, how can I explain these colors? <laughs> I really can't. I can feel that. <laughs> this is also picking up a lot. It's like, can you see? feels like it has a shift to it as well, like it shifts in like a peach gold uh, bronze and I like it. It goes really well with this pink. I'm taking a small fluffy brush and take that red shape color just to intensify a little bit here in the outer part again. really like these colors and now I'm going in with the lower lash line guys I'm going to take this red shape again take it this brush right here just put it here in the outer part on my lower lash line this is pretty um, I think I'm actually going to use glitter glue now because I'm super excited to see how um, that a peach color is going to look with the glitter glue because I think I want it in my number. And just to see if it is any different, if it looks better, if it's more opaque, if it pops. I'm just gonna put some glitter glue here. I'm gonna take a small, small brush here and try to pick this up because it is a hard time to pick up. Oh yeah, I hope you can see straight away. This is another color if you use a glitter glue. It actually is the color in the pan if you use a glitter glue. Because it's not enough. As you can see, I have this shade here, but it's like two different shades. <laughs> so I really recommend you guys to use glitter glue with this one. If you do, you will get a really nice result. Look at that color, guys. That is the color in the pan. I mean, can you see? Now it looks like it should, what it should look like. <laughs> well, I think I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I'm going to put some liner, mascara, lashes, something in my waterline and we come back and put the lipstick on. <laughs> so now I'm back with the lashes, liner, mascara, and I put something in my waterline, and this is from Vicon, and this is in the shade, let me see, amber. <laughs> uh, it's this um, very like bronzy gold, super beautiful, last all day, I can tell you. And uh, now it's time to uh, try this liquid lipstick, this dreamy matte liquid lipstick. It's supposed to dry down to a true matte and it's supposed to hydrate your lips. Don't know about that, but <laughs> I'm curious. I have mine in Vanilla Queen and let's see. Ooh, this is light. What does it smell, guys? I have no idea. I 
have a little bit of cold uh, still. Uh, so, but I can feel it. It smells something. Not sure though. It's very easy to apply. I don't know about this shade on me guys i'm not used to have very very bold lips like this light but i really like the pinkiness in this shade maybe when it dries down it gets a little darker but i kind of like it anyway it feels like this kinds of colors on your lips can make your skin look like if you have a tan <laughs> um and it feels like yeah uh, yeah i think it goes a little darker now yeah it does it's not that light anymore. Oh, I like this shade, guys. Mmm. And, mmm, you can see here. This is not pretty, guys. It doesn't stick to the wet area on your lips, obviously, but uh, it is very, very thick. And it's kind of, you can see like, you can see the lines. If I do like this, there's no line, but if I do like this, you can see all the lines you have on your lips. So it's very like dry formula, but it doesn't feel dry on your lips. That's good. <laughs> but I really like this color and you can always put a gloss if you think this is, if you want to get rid of these like stripes here, <laughs> or what do you say, like these lines, uh, you can definitely put a lip gloss on just to make them disappear a little bit but yeah guys this was it i really like this um this look i'm just a little like i was a little disappointed of the mandarin color but when i put like a glitter glue it really looks nice so i would have done it here if i would redo it i would definitely put glitter glue on this half of my lid because so that shade just could stick to the glitter glue and actually look like it does in the pan. But I'm gonna give you a close up, guys. So yeah, this was it. This was my little Nabla video, my first impression. Let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, let's talk about these first. I really like this um, magnetic palette. Um, but it's just a magnetic palette, but I think it's so, so pretty with these gold, no, it's like rose gold uh, feathers uh, with this pink. And then we have these, <laughs> then we have these. Uh, the contour shade is really nice on me. I don't know if you can see, but it, it looks really, really nice. If you are a deeper skin tone, maybe this is not the shade for you. Maybe they have a little darker version of the contour shade of this one. Uh, this bronzer was beautiful. It looks, I mean, look at my face. It looks really, really natural and it looks really, really fresh. And it just looks so, so, so pretty. Love this. Uh, the blush is very pretty as well. This is my kind of blush. I know I have like similar blush, bl <laughs> blushes like this. Um, so, I mean, it's not revolutionary, but it's very, very nice quality. And if you want, if I want more like travel friendly, like if I want to travel, I will definitely pick these. And if I want more shades um, to choose from with blushes, I would definitely pick more of these up because they are so, so pretty, easy to work with, looks pretty. I have nothing, nothing bad to say about them. And this one, this Baby Glow, right? Yeah, Baby Glow, this highlighter. Uh, it's also very pretty. It looks very natural on me. It's not like the most blinding highlighter I ever, I ever tried, but I did spray my brush just to get a little more intense um, highlighter just here on my cheeks. Uh, but it's a very, very pretty shade. It works very nice to my skin tone, this warm peachy undertone and super beautiful. I'm super happy I have these. And as I said, when I go traveling, I will probably take this one. Maybe Maybe I actually will take this one as well because I love small palettes and this color story is just beautiful. Uh, but maybe I will just put them over here so I can have a row, like two rows with single eyeshadows as well. This is perfect for traveling. I mean, 
to have this one for like a full face, almost a full face. That's perfect, guys. And now for the cutie palette, the coral one. I really like this palette. The only shade, shade, as I said, was this one. It feels like now it has a little bit of hard pan, but it's not. When I touch it, it feels soft, but it's very compact and it's very flaky. You really need a glitter glue with this one. You will never get the result with this one, like the true color if you don't use a glitter glue. But with a glitter glue, this looks pretty, guys. I mean, this is what I have here, as a, as you did see, if you see this video. <laughs> uh, and you can see the peachy beauty in that one. And this works really nice just to deepen up, even if it is like a, it has like a shimmer to it, like a satin, uh, but it's very, very beautiful. This like reddish color and the dark brown very good to have uh, in this palette just to deepen up or if you want to do more like a neutral look I used a lot of this uh, this feelings this is pigmented beautiful blends easily oh my god I was surprised about this one that I really really liked it that much because in the pan it doesn't look that I mean it doesn't look that special but on the eyes with this one Oh my god, I have to do a look with that. I mean, I have done a look, but like more intensified. And super beautiful. I really like this little um, palette. It's compact and it's very easy. It's very lightweight and, and it's cardboard and you have a mirror. It's everything you need actually for me, if you like the color story. I know they have another one that it's uh, this is the coral one and then they have another one I don't know what that's called but uh, you can just look it up if you're interested uh, and this um, liquid lipstick I really like the color of this I was a little <laughs> scared when I put it on because it was very very light but it dried down uh, to a quite darker like a slightly darker shade and I really like it I think I look really nice in this color um, the thing is you can see like this uh, the lines on your lips and it doesn't stick to the part where you are a little bit wet in your like uh, here but I mean there's a lot of liquid lipstick that actually don't stick on like wet areas because they don't uh, but I think it looks pretty and if I want to have more shine I just put a gloss over and it will be fine so guys I really hope you enjoy this little video this Nabla video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you want to do that and yeah I hope I see you in my next video Take care. Bye.